Welcome to Wine Chats with Bildo and Lindelin. My name is Billy Milovanovic, aka Bildo. And my name is Lindsay Kirkwood, also known as Lindelin. And this is an offensively funny podcast about drinking wine and chatting life. Hope you enjoy. We're coming super fast, Lenny. So what you say to Henry? <laughs> For those of you who didn't hear that, hi, welcome to Wine Chats, <laughs> where we chat life and about Billy coming. Okay. Not what today is about, no. coincidentally enough. Hi, hi, Bill. Today What's we're going to talk on? about uh, something that I find is a waste of brain space, but you love this kind of stuff. I live for this. Yes, this whole month has been pretty yes. much based for you, based for you, based on you, whatever. Sure. Um, conspiracy theories. Yes. I love conspiracy theories. I don't. And to be honest, I'm such a, like. <laughs> well, you love cults. You want to live in a cult. I believe so in is, all of it. Yeah, of course you I do. believe that yeah. there is a level of truth to uh-huh. pretty much any conspiracy theory. And so today, right. whilst we will talk about conspiracy theories and like famous ones, I also mm. wanted to talk about ones that actually ended up being true. Which is interesting. That's kind of cool. Right? Yes. I looked up ones that actually seemed a little bit more interesting to me. So I looked up some paranormal. <gasps> Fun. Conspiracies. Creepy. Conspiracy theories. Theories. Whatever. Yep. That's Sure. Thing. Same, same. I wasted so much of my time looking up stuff. <gasps> Billy, you should be proud. I love all that stuff. Love so me. research this week was super exciting for me. Um, now, what will we drink, Lindalyn? <sighs> What's exciting for me? <laughs> what a good segue. <laughs> I don't know what wow. accent that was, but wow. it was wrong. Apologies. Please don't turn off. Um, she, won't, <laughs> she won't speak like that for the whole time. <laughs> won't I though? Well, uh, it's a bit of a... Sad day. It is here a sad day for a wine sponsor. Whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. For just wine sponsors, in particular for <laughs> for Eight at the Gate. No, it's a sad day for us, not yes. for them. It yes. came out totally wrong. Eight at the Gate. These girls we've fallen in love with. Yes. Two sisters with eight kids. Yeah. That stood at the gate waiting for the school bus together. Like it's just so cute. Yeah. Such a good story. Um, so we have their oh, they're from Rat and Bully. I love saying that. Fun. Rat and Bully. I feel like I need to put like my cowboy if I had cowboy boots, my cowboy boots on and like my hat. I feel like you need to stop offending Rat and Bully. That's what I feel like. I think they would be happy would that they? I'm saying that. Would you Rat and Bully? They'd probably wear that. Mm, okay. So we're drinking <laughs> your favorite, a Chardonnay. A Chardonnay. Yeah, a Chardonnay. But it's from 2018. Billy gets so excited when she sees the vintage is like a year older than the year that we're in. Yes. Um, so this would be fun. 2018 Chardonnay. Aw, thank you to the ladies that ate at the gate. We seriously, we yeah, love we them. We love them. It's it, such a beautiful story. Lovely ladies. Um, and even though we don't like Chardonnay, their wines are really good. They're really excellent, yeah. aren't they? So we actually might um, enjoy this one. We actually might. We you know will probably. I mean? Well, yeah, we'll what? give it a good cry. It's true. But, I know. Sometimes we don't. But the thing is, not like. Not to be rude. No, no, no. Gonna I was going to say, you don't have to like. If you don't like wine, it doesn't mean that you're rude to the, the vineyard or the winemaker. It's, it's, it's just that you don't like a particular wine. A particular wine. wine. That's right. And we can't like them all. Yeah, it doesn't mean it's a bad wine. So if we say, oh, I don't like this, it does not mean that their wine is crap. It means we just don't like it. Um, now, oh, thank what? you, Lindelin, for that. This is not as buttery <laughs> as I expected. And I was thinking the opposite. I was like, what? oh, yeah. No, actually, I see. What I kind of feel yeah. it's such a nice crisp color. Yeah. No, I And see normally Chardonnays that. are quite buttery. The, again, this is how it's taken me four years to be able to say that. Um, to know but that about it may not look buttery, but it might taste buttery. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers to the and butter. cheers to you, ladies. Love ya. Yeah, it's such a Chardonnay, isn't it? It's buttery. I was just going to say, it's totally buttery in my it's mind. It's actually so buttery. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, a bit bitter. I wouldn't say it's like a f- summer fave. You know, it's not a summer wine. It's almost like a, a red wine. This, I think I heard this somewhere just recently. I actually don't know if it applies to the Chardonnay, but I'm going to use it here and I'm going to fake it till I make it. Brace yourselves. But it's like the red wine of white wines. I've never heard that, but I like it. But does that make sense? It does. I don't know if it makes sense to this wine, but it it's a good saying. I love it. Thank like, you. I yeah. made that up myself. Um, Didn't see it on it's Instagram. It's the red wine of white wine. Is that what you said? No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's bitter. I think it's buttery. I actually quite like it. I think it. I should have probably got it colder for me to really like it. Yes. Mm-hmm. I do find it a little bit bitter, a little bit buttery. The color doesn't, it's almost like the color doesn't like go no. with the taste. It's different. But anyway. It's we delicious. love you guys. Thank you. 
now. Let's get conspiracy. Oh God, do we have to? Yes, okay. we do. This is you, so much fun. You start and enlighten me with all this bullshit that goes on. Well, in the world. look, I'm not going to start with maybe in the next segment we will do Ooh. the conspiracy theories that turned out to be true. Okay. Well, when do I get to have mine? Is it all about you? Oh, do you want me to start with that? Okay, because I've got 11 no, you go. no, 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 you most start. popular conspiracy yes, theories. you go, honey. Girl. So let's but start with that. I was like, when can I? You no cannot to? speak today. Perfect. Okay, Um, some of these are going to be like heavy duty. So, you know, <gasps> oh. they're, they're conspiracy theories. Okay, yeah. Have you heard about the one where people don't believe that the Holocaust actually happened? Uh, look, yes, but like that. What do you say to that? It's like flat earthers. How can you exactly. possibly in this day and age? I know believe that it didn't happen. Now, yeah. um, they're saying poor education on the subject may be an explanation for this, but some conspiracy theorists push the anti-Semitic notion that the Holocaust was invented or exaggerated to garner sympathy and monetary gains for Jewish people while serving and advancing Jewish interests. Which is so, like, it's just... A, That's fucking you, insulting. It's wasting our brain space yes. right now because that is, exactly, it's insulting and it's ridiculous. Uh, ridiculous. Yeah. Now, this is one I believe. Oh, Here we go. Oh, God. That the moon landing was faked. <laughs> I don't know why I believe this. There's why something though? deep inside yeah. me that just feels like this could easily have been made uh-huh. by the Americans, yep. bless the cotton entertaining mm-hmm. socks. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It just feels like it wasn't. Look, I think it's because it's one of the more believable conspiracy theories out there. Because yes. like, not believing the Holocaust. Like that. that That's what, stupid. What? That's true. Yeah. How? Yeah. But like the moon landing. But then even then, like he went up uh, i mean back then and this is what they're saying and i semi believe i'm sorry i yeah. totally interrupted no, 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 you but no, it seems right um so the primary idea is that the footage of astronauts taking their first steps on the moon's surface mm-hmm. was actually shot at area 51 yep oh but did they have the technology back in those days dude it's like, a camera and a bit of staging no i know but back then like how how many decades ago like you make it sound so easy simple now which yeah but back then 1969 i don't know yeah, i don't know i don't know but i believe it you guys i don't know why but i believe it of course you do fake news uh-huh. um princess diana her death being no accident Oh, now that one I actually, no accident as in like the queen. As in it wasn't just an accident. It right. was. Someone was sent out to crash her. Yeah. And kill her. Yeah. Yeah. I actually, I'm 50-50 with that one. Yeah. Um, I'm I, also of the belief, oh, well, it was Dodie because she was in the car with Dodie. He was her boyfriend. Let's not go into who that was. Um, I think the world knows The world knows. Was. You guys know yeah. who Dodie was. Uh-huh. It was his dad that kept pushing the whole, like, she was killed. These guys were killed. This was not yeah. an accident. Yeah. Again, I don't know why, but I believe it. Yeah. I believe um, it. That and the guy was drunk, like driving the car. Right. So, I mean, there's that that plays. Yeah, see, this is dumb. It just yeah. says, um, you know, people said that they were, ki- well, no, no, sorry. Dodie's dad mm-hmm. said that they were killed because the monarchy couldn't stand the thought mm-hmm. of Diana and Prince Charles' sons um, as having a stepfather who was Egyptian and Muslim. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't. I think that's silly because yeah. I don't think she was killed for that particular reason. Yeah, exactly. But I, I have agree. no doubt. Yes, that she. They were trying to yeah. get rid of her. But when you say they, do you really think cute little old Queen Elizabeth? Absolutely. Really? Absolutely. What cute it's... little Queen Elizabeth? The bitch ruled the place for a hundred years. Of yeah, she of is course. not yeah. little and tiny and sweet. She is a motherfucking dead. Mouse. Nah. Yeah, she like... is. <gasps> 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 Okay, my dog. Diana. <laughs> no, that was the queen. That was the queen. That was not Diana. That oh was oh my god, the queen. queen Elizabeth. I'm no. so sorry. It was actually my dog <gasps> that um, decided to jump off the couch and take our ring light with him. Frankie. Um, look, I'm just entertaining them by telling them how lovely you are, Billy. Um, no, look, did it break? I don't. It's not. But why does is it not sitting level? Look, it's fine. <laughs> Our tagline in constantly, do you know how many times a day we, when we're together, we say, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Mm-hmm. Okay, Frank. I mean, it wasn't really his fault. It's we fine. We trapped him in there with <laughs> a cord. Anyways. That literally was Queen Elizabeth uh-huh. talking to me. That actually freaked me out. Like, totally. I, be- I believe in all of that, you guys. Yes. I believe it all. I believe in magic. If my kids uh-huh. ever said to me, oh my God, mom, a fairy just came up and took me to magical land and a flying mushroom. I'd be like, fuck, man, bring me next time. Like, I want to go too. And what kind of drugs were you on at that point? No, it's not. <laughs> Lindsay, I al- I will always believe my kids because every fucking kid on TV who tells their parent that E.T. is out there trying to eat him and put him on a bike yeah. and they don't believe him, <laughs> I will believe you, babe. Okay. 
Anyway, continue on. Okay, nine eleven. Uh-huh. Yeah, look, uh, no, that there is no. Con- what's the actual conspiracy theory, though? Like, it, it's stupid. A very good question, Lindsay. Yeah. So many, so yeah. many different ones. Um, people thinking that. Oh, here we go. One of the most prevalent theories is that the administration of George W. Bush mm-hmm. did nine eleven, or that they at least knew about it and let it happen, because the administration wanted to go to war in Afghanistan and Iraq for oil. Um. Again, not an overly non-believable theory. No, but I just I'm watching a show on Apple that's about a car carjacking, hijacking uh-huh. of a plane. Oh, right, right, right. And the country is like trying to decide: do we let this plane full of our people crash into? It's in London, crash into London, right? Like the CBD, yeah. Or do we give in to the terrorists' uh, <gasps> request? Reg- yes, right. right? So they're like, well, we can't kill our own people. But they can't negotiate with terrorists. No, exactly, because it sends them a message. Yeah. So, like, who knows? That's what I'm saying. There's some level. But I find that that one is so disrespectful to, like, it's such a big scale thing. But, I mean, so is like the Holocaust. Like, uh, this is what, like, no, so yeah, many of these are so, so disrespectful. There's so, like, so many of them are. But that's just a dumb one. Like, that, people, come on. So that's, but, dumb. I mean, absolutely, I agree. Yeah, because it, the whole, like, yeah. there's so much proof like it was just oh that's like we're not even debating right that. yeah that's, that's what yeah, I mean. yeah. but the 9-11 is one where it's like Ooh, it could go could. both i agree but then a part of me is like well that's so disrespectful to even think that it happened with the states knowing yeah you know what i mean oh i mean but i think that governments and states are also yeah. just like super corrupt and oh for disrespectful sure. of the people yeah. anyway oh, so for really sure they can 100 it can happen yeah. you know what yeah, I mean? yeah 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 anyway that's look biggie, yeah we're a bit 50 so 50 on that one yeah yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um oh this one i don't fucking understand at all oh. and i cannot believe people there are people out there who believe these things okay um like mass shootings like sandy hook yeah that were false yeah false. Like yeah like that they didn't happen but see this is what i mean it's like the holocaust like, what do you mean it didn't happen uh, there are literally flat earthers there are literally people out there um but how how did it not happen like it actually like the so mass shootings continue to bring out the worst in conspiracy theorists. After the Parkland, Florida shooting um, at some uh, place in the States, guys. Uh-huh. This is all from the States, I guess. Yeah. Um, uh, d- survivors were called crisis actors. Oh, yes. So yes. when a gunman killed 58 yeah. people in Las Vegas, theories ran wild that he didn't act alone. Um, no matter where the shootings take place or how many people are affected, it seems there are always those who are ready to call it a false flag attack designed by the deep state to push gun control laws. But that makes no sense because they don't change the laws in any shape or form. No. So what, like, if these... No, there are just people who are stupid out there saying that these people were hired actors. So they say mass shootings, according to Jones, was completely fake and the slain children were hired actors. And then I've actually seen shows like... Oh my God, I can't. Dr. Phil or something, who's brought these people out and been like... Yeah. Like, how... how, Like, that's disrespectful. How Mm -hmm. are you saying this? There are children and there are parents out there who are, like, living this every day. And then they bring on the parents on the show as well to Mm. speak to them and be like... My child was not a crisis actor. Stuff like that. Yeah, you know? he's in six feet under. Right? Like, and there are still fucking crazy people like that. This is the, th- this is the problem with conspiracy theorists is that it actually like hurts real people who are still around. Yes, yes, you know, and definitely. That's mm-hmm. Okay. Um, this one, I mean, I 100% believe. I don't know how this is a conspiracy theory after everything that we've learned. Mm. Um, top Democrats are behind a child sex ring. Now, I'm oh, going to get uh-huh. rid of the top Democrats bit and just be like s- so many people in higher powers. Like so many are, people are who have with sex rings are involved yeah. in them. Yeah. What's yeah. happening in Hollywood right now? Everybody's like, no, conspiracy yeah. theories. No, I believe yeah. the whole Hollywood sex ring thing, taking children yeah. and doing all sorts of Oh, children's shit. sex rings. Well, I would say so, yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, because yeah. it's all about like the, yeah, like kidnapping kids and doing yeah. all these things to them. Yeah. Yeah. What is happening in Hollywood? Oh, I think so. And oh. plus then all these actors that are coming yeah. out and saying they've been child actors who came out and grew uh-huh. up as adults and- Came out saying so many of them are just yeah. pedophiles looking to feast Ew. on us, basically. Okay. Gross. I know. These are all so sad. We're really sore neck and this is hurting my head. Um, I mean, <laughs> the earth is actually flat. That's hilarious. We're that, not even going to uh, talk about them. Yeah. Now, COVID-19. Uh-huh. Yes. This actually, we got this with yes. our Insta poll as well. Somebody responded yes. that COVID was yeah. a conspiracy theory. Yeah. I mean, what do you think? Well, that they're saying that the government created it. 
Yes, like, this and one put is it saying, out in the world on purpose. Yeah, so they're saying COVID nineteen yeah. is co- population control. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So like that was spewing around when it was actually happening. The vaccine implants a micro trip due yeah. oh trip, trip used to track people. The fatality rate has been wildly inflated. Mm-hmm. Bill Gates is not only ins- responsible for the virus, but he um, but also the head of a plot to use the virus as population control. But why would Those he? are just a few of the yeah. theories. Why would he? Bill Gates is like obviously super rich yeah. and. Yeah. Super powerful, and I think it's just like the money and power. And oh, I don't know. I don't know. But why to control he, the population, what does that? What does he gain out of that? Uh, more money. I don't. I don't How? know. I don't know. There's less people to buy his stuff. But then there's also people like also semi like me, and obviously yeah. I would never want anybody in my immediate circle yeah. to kick it. Yeah. But like, do you ever watch like? the Marvel movies and, like, no. Endgame and, like, you Not know, really. Avengers. Not, no. Yeah, okay. With no. the Avengers, like, mm-hmm. spoiler alert, mm-hmm. in Endgame, yeah. Thanos, the big bad guy, basically presses a button because he's collected all these stones and yeah. raises half a popula- population. Right. Half the population yeah. for population control. Okay. And he's like, I'm saving you guys. Yeah. I get the whole population control, but what does Bill Gates gain from population control? So he's why Thanos. Is he? Bill Gates is Thanos. No, I know. And then he I, gains but, all this other power. Oh my God. Okay. I don't fucking know, Lindsay. I'm just making the <laughs> shit I'm up saying, as I'm going yeah, along. Can, that's what I'm saying. Like, are they saying why he would be the one that's doing okay, it? Okay, well, let's click on it, Lenny. Let's go. No, Fact God, check. God, Bill no, Gates no. is not responsible for COVID-19. <laughs> that's all I get. Um, I don't know. Google it yourself. Right, okay. okay. Yeah. Um, Area 51 is home to lots of aliens mm-hmm. and government secrets. Yeah. That's not a conspiracy That's theory. That's true. fact. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fact. It literally just yeah. came out. Fact. Yeah. So see a conspiracy theory that proved to be true. Okay. Is this one of the ones on your list? No. No. Okay. Ooh. This one just jumped up on us. Oh, interesting. <laughs> you know. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, what else? Oh. There's a hidden chamber filled with government secrets behind Mount Rushmore. This is all American, guys. Um, yeah. I believe that. A hidden chamber. Sure. Filled with what? Secret secrets. government secrets. Oh. Secret government well, they secrets. they got to put them somewhere. That's what I'm saying. Like, duh. Like, they're not going to keep like, them that's not the even a, you know. Okay. Okay, that's all i got. What have you got? Oh, right. Oh, well, I am, um, well, maybe we should take a break because I've got right. yes. five paranormal, <gasps> like, conspiracy theory stories yes. to tell. Okay. So maybe take a break and then maybe come back and you can tell us about the true ones because I'd love to know the ones that have been, like, proven yes. to be Let's true. Let's do that. First. Let's take yeah. a break, Lenny. Good idea. I nearly choked on my wine, Billy. All this conspiracy theory wasting my brain space. Don't do that. I know. And you only had so much left anyway. Of what? Brain Brain space? space? (laughs) Or wine? I'm like, it could be either today. Both. Right? Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Okay, go. So spooky conspiracy theories. Okay. I watched a video, YouTube. Like YouTube has everything. So much. (laughs) And most of these, surprisingly enough, are in the States. That place. Mm-hmm. Just full of conspiracy mm-hmm. theorists. Okay. I hadn't heard of any of these. Have you heard of the Denver Airport? No. International Airport conspiracy no. theory? Okay. So there's a massive horch, horch, yep, a horse. Good start. <laughs> horse what? statue called Mustang, the Lucifer. Lucifer. Right? Yeah. And some say it's cursed. It has already killed at least one man, a 32 foot tall, well, it is 32 feet tall, and 9,000 pounds, so a huge piece of him fell off when the sculpture, the artist, was making him <gasps> and killed, killed him. him. <laughs> killed the artist? The artist. Oh. So his children had to finish the Mustang, and it, everybody says it's cursed. The airport's cursed. The Mustang's cursed. It's got beady red glowing eyes. Like it, What else is it? done has it killed any other people i don't know only one person right but people swear that like creepy weird shit happens at denver Ooh. international Airport. well that's probably the guy who was killed still hanging around fucking yeah it's not the horse or maybe his creepiness is in the horse that's now. what i'm saying yeah so either way okay don't go to denver okay ever drive or there. vermont Okay, so oh. this place, Brunswick Springs. Don't go to America, just stay <laughs> here, know. please. Oh, God. <laughs> Bloody hell. So there's six small springs that go feed into this one big, I guess, river type thing. Sure. And in each of these springs, there's like found like uh, mineral, special mineral. Okay. Right? Like just normal ones, yeah. but they all have their own little mineral, right? Sure. Okay. So back in the day, um, the local, I want to say it correctly, Abenaki people, like Aboriginal. Yep, yep, yep. Indigenous, um, yeah. Yep, well. Well, indigenous to them is like mm-hmm. the yeah, like yeah. Aboriginals yeah. are specific to Australia. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Fine. I God, think, technically, I you know. know you're right. Yeah. You're 100. Um, Indian people, right? Right. 
Okay, so they believe that the um, land surrounding the spring is sacred and is said that the springs themselves have special healing properties. But at nighttime, it turns into like a spooky place that you do not want to go. You would never see an Abenaki person walking near the springs at night. I believe it. Right? I especially believe it if the Abenaki say it. Yeah, totally. Because people are connected to the land, man, connected to the earth. A hundred percent. Fucking and listen to that shit. Healing power started in 1748 when an Abenaki led a wounded French soldier into the springs. He had a badly hurt Aww. limb. The springs healed him, blah, blah, blah. So that soldier then went back, I don't know how many years later, to bottle up the water <gasps> to sell to make profit. <gasps> going, oh, I've got like this. Curse. No. Curse. Curse. Exactly. Don't steal their water. Curse. So there was a fight amongst him. Let me get it. Him and the Abenaki... I don't know. Of course there was. Yes. Person. Good. He was killed along with his child. So the wife and mother put a curse on the springs and the land surrounding land saying that nobody could monetize or benefit from this land and money or water at all. Four. No, that's three, Lindsay. Four (laughs) different hotels have since tried to be built on the land and they have all burnt down. This is true. Like that part is true. They've all like randomly this. burnt down too. And one hotelier built the first one. It burnt down. Tried another one and it burnt down too. Uh, are you guys <laughs> not getting the hint? Like is that, we need to try a fifth one. Like these things I'm like, that actually sounds like, how is that? That is legit. Theory? Like, I was that, gonna say, that's not a good, that's like, like creepy. Right? True paranormal stuff. I believe that a thousand hundred percent. This one is, you would actually probably like, you should look this. Um, I will already. That, that thing up. Yeah. The TV show. Uh-huh. So Skinwalker Ranch there in Utah. Mm-hmm. Again, fucking Americans. I love Utah. I want so many cults. I want to go and visit. Oh, d- 100%. And Plymouth. That's my land, Utah. And Plymouth. <laughs> right? And mountains. They have mountains. Right? Yeah. I love mountains. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> Mountains, mountains, and polygamous. Yes, <laughs> right. Polygamy, mountains, oh cults. What is the problem? <gasps> okay, so the owner from this ranch from 1996 to 2016 said that the ranch was crawling with ghosts, aliens, and quote unquote monsters. I believe it. Uh-huh. Like wolverines and like yeah, weird. I mean, obviously he's on drugs as well. Because yeah. if you're in a cult, you're on some heavy duty drugs. Well, he's not in the cult. He lives on this ranch. So he's the owner of the ranch. It's a Billy, cult, I never guys. said it's a cult. It was a cult. He lives in cult land. Does he have six wives and no. a bunch of workers? No, but he had a lot of cattle that were like bu- brutally dismembered and like murdered. Can cattle be murdered? I don't know. Killed. Yeah. So like weird question. shit happened right. on his property. Like the crop circles. Yes. And like the weird stuff like that would be found on the land. Like <gasps> But proper. remember when I was telling you about the Australian farm just recently? I was yeah. telling you about this no. and you were like, save it for the episode. But now I didn't look it up because I forgot about it. No. About the people in Australia mm-hmm. on a farm, they're saying our cows have been killed by aliens and everybody's yes, like, oh, la, la, la. Say, this is what this dude is saying. Yes. Because yes. the cows actually ended up, the animals or whatever it was, they were totally drained of mm-hmm. all blood. Yeah, you showed me a picture. I showed you yeah, a picture. Yeah, yeah. Not a drop yeah. of blood anywhere yeah. near them. No, did, mm-hmm. like no body parts or anything. It just seems like whatever killed the animal mm-hmm. sucked its drained life. its blood yeah. and fucking left it there. Aliens. What animal does that? Like yeah. wh- who does that? Vampire, animal vampires? Maybe. Also known as aliens. Guys, oh. come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, these were found mutilated, like brutally right. mutilated. Okay. Yeah. So different alien. Yeah. Okay. Um, but <laughs> what was vibe. Different, different yeah. experiment. But you should look them up because this ranch is home, literally, maybe the show's over now, but it was home to a paranormal reality TV <gasps> show. So like, look it up on YouTube yes, or I Netflix will. or I don't know, wherever it is, yes. but like that they talk about this shit yep. and show it. Uh, I believe it. Okay. Last one that, well, kind of semi last one. This is actually in Oman. So it's not America. Okay. Oh, okay. Have you heard of like, I don't know if I'm saying it right. A Dijin? D- J I N N, no. Okay, Jin, Jin. It's like a. Jin. I guess the silent D. Uh, yeah, is it like a ghost or something? Like yes, a genie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also known as Jin, Jin, Jinnies, Jinnies. I guess Jinnies, whatever. So they're an H and N uh, pre. I can never say this. Preternatural. It's a hard word to say. What? Like, like not a normal. Like it's not real. Oh, okay. Ghosts. Is it though? Yeah. All right. Um, beings that have their roots within Arabian mythology Ooh. and later religious Islamic tradition would describe them as a race of spirits that are much like humans and could either be good, bad, or neutral. So it's like zombies, I guess. 
Like you don't know if what they are. They, you know how a zombie person, you could actually be a zombie, but you look normal to me. And then you just like. I mean, zombies kind of normally have like melting skin off their faces. That was happening no, to me like, right now. but like, you know how some people like, you know, they look normal, but then they turn out not Guys, to be. Guys, this is what I've been saying this whole time. This whole like <laughs> men so in black exhausting. business is like the closest thing that we yeah. have to what's actually reality, I think. What, so like to me, yeah. yeah, because there could just be aliens walking around, but they're obviously in our form. That's what I'm saying. Like these people. So yeah, you're right. You could, that could be right. So on the edge of the Arabian desert, one remote outpost encounters evil spirits with disturbing frequency. <laughs> that's, that's so funny. So now in 2017, an inferno appeared on this dude, Muhammad, of course, Muhammad's property. There were green flames that hovered ominously for several minutes above the sand, Ooh. neither growing nor relenting. Ooh. 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 What is flickering? it? Yeah. He heard an awful cackling echoing within the flames and the pale woman in right like it, it's so funny. <laughs> the pale woman in rags that had previously appeared on top of this tree near the flames. So basically, like if someone like me was trying to climb the tree and get some apples, <laughs> apples. I, mean, I don't know. Apple. And she brought herself like a little torch that it happened to have been I green. Don't know. But this dude was so freaked out by what had happened oh. that he was talking to the person that was writing the article. Yeah, that he wouldn't talk anymore about it outside. He had to like they had to go inside. Also, oh, she doesn't hear. The apple picking lady doesn't hear. <laughs> no, I didn't say anything about apples. Okay, last one. And this one, I okay, I'm going to offend people straight away. And oh, I'm so sorry. Go. So the satanic panic. Yes. So the satanic panic is a moral panic consisting, oh my God, consisting, consisting of 12,000 unconfirmed cases of satanic ritual abuse. So abuse, um, organized abuse, cult. It's all like fucking cult stuff. But do you know what? So it started in the States in the 80s. I'm right, kind of, of course. States. Yeah. Um, but then like it was all to do with the Christian faith and like all these people, like as soon as I, this is where the offending comes in. Come on, give it to me. Offend me. Look, like all, when it has to do with the religion, so I'm just not a religious person. So I'm like, mm, I'm just going to I think it's reading. also kind of easy to... Again, we're going to be we're so offensive. And yeah. people get so incensed by religion. Mm -hmm. I get it. But yeah. I feel like it's easy to, like, I don't want to say make fun of people with like who are super religious because they yeah. believe in it so uh -huh. much. So it's yeah. kind of easy to yeah. exploit yeah, that yeah. belief. And they were like, oh, it's devil worshippers. And like, Do you know what I'm saying? And devil worshippers yeah, could just literally be emos, yeah. you yeah. know, because <laughs> they don't, you know? So like, as far as they're concerned, yeah. because they're so, uh -huh. the belief is so deep yeah. in, in that, anything outside yeah. of that seems satanic to exactly. them. And it's like, well guys, it's actually kind of easy to take the piss right now. Because and like, it was even like three dudes went yeah. to jail for these crimes or whatever, but they were proven innocent. Like down of the course. track, like they had nothing to do with. Just like hey, when they used to burn witches. Ex like, just ladies ridiculous. who like to throw rocks yeah. around and read leaves and oh. shit. But just well, women who are like into spiritual stuff and then they get but, this, like. No, but some women do like to call themselves witches. Like not the scary witches, but there are women that identify sure. as Sure, and witches. I believe them too. Yeah, I feel yeah. like you can get in touch with that little bit yeah. of extra stuff inside mm. you. You know, it's not just the five senses we have, guys. It's probably like 20. We don't even know about them. Anyway, witches <laughs> obviously just know how to use all those senses. Okay, let us look into some conspiracy theories that turn out to be correct. Yeah, uh, tell me. I so here know. we go. Bayer, you know Bayer, like the medicine people, the pharmaceutical company? Are you saying Bayer? What am I supposed to say? Bayer. You're yeah, Australian. Bayer. Yeah, like Bayer. Bayer. Yeah, Bayer. Good Lord. Uh -huh. Bayer medicine uh -huh. causes AIDS. Oh, well, like which medicine? Clarify which Lindsay, medicine. please. Oh, oh, God. I'm talking. Um... <laughs> In the mid 1980s, pharmace uh -huh. pharmaceutical yeah. uh -huh. company Bayer discovered that their blood clotting medicine for hemophiliacs carried a high risk of transmitting AIDS. Now I don't know how that transmitting works. Transmitting or creating? Transmitting. It's okay. Here. So I don't know how that means whether you're yeah. then more exposed to mm. getting AIDS and transmitting AIDS. Yeah. It just says okay. carried a high risk of transmitting yeah. AIDS. They okay. fixed the problem in 1984, but didn't pull the dangerous product from the market. Oh, Instead, why? they sold it to Asia and Latin America <gasps> while Europe and the United States got the newer version. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. How fucked up is that? Bayer, fuck you. Why would they not? Meanwhile, I probably still drink your Panadol or something. I don't know. That is... How fucked up is that? That, I'm... Um, okay, here we go. Okay. One for the Canadians. Uh -huh. oh, oh, Canada. The fruit machine. Uh -huh. The fruit machine. Okay. These motherfuckers. <laughs> the idea of a gator... 
the uh-huh. ability to tell whether or not someone is gay uh-huh. might seem silly nowadays. Yeah. But back in 1961, it was real. Oh, the fruit machine. Like if the you're fruit fruity. Machine. Okay. Fruit. Okay. At the height of the Cold War, the Canadian government hired Frank Robert Way oh, to create a scientific test oh. that determined if someone was gay. I'm so embarrassed to be Canadian. The reason for this was to, di- <laughs> to identify communist sympathizers uh-huh. and get them out of the government. Oh my God. But this was like a conspiracy theory? Or like I'm gonna say that all of these was conspir- were conspiracy theories right. until they got proven were correct. So, so yes, this proven is proven correct. Like yes. this actually happened. Yes. Yeah, oh yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. These all happened. Oh, that doesn't that doesn't surprise me because back then people thought it was something that you could go to a doctor f- to and like, I just wonder what this yeah. machine did. Like what did it test? Yeah, for? put it on your head and yeah, because like, it's a machine. Yeah. Like you can see yeah. it's a machine. That is so like do you put so your fingers funny. in it and then it measures what? Sass? So funny. Like, I don't pizzazz? know. I don't know what that is. is yeah, hilarious. Okay, well, I'm so sorry to all the gay oh, people. Oh, Canada. Uh, yeah. It's okay. not the tune. Can you sing it properly? No, because I don't know it. Um, now, this one, Operation Paperclip. Oh. I think you, have, you've heard of how, like, a lot of the Nazis after the Cold War, uh, not the Cold War, the Second World War, yeah. got basically, like, hired to go and be doctors elsewhere. And people, that was, like, the conspiracy theory. But it's To be true. doctors? To be doctors. They I got, did not yes, know this. Okay. Yes. But even like, uh, you know, what's his face escaping? Right. So they just assumed that a bunch of yeah. these people had escaped and then just continued lives. Right. Well, a bunch of that is correct. After World War II, the United States created a secret joint intelligent, intelligence objective agency. It's mm. a fucking mouthful. In which they brought more than 1,600 German scientists, engineers, and technicians, many of whom had direct ties to the Nazi party to work for the government. Known as Operation Paperclip, its primary focus was for the US to gain an advantage in the Cold War. So essentially, yeah, okay. for those of you who didn't ever go to any kind of concentration camps in yeah. Germany, like, <laughs> well, I mean, you, you know, the, when you go to yeah. Europe and you travel yeah. and that's what you do yeah, as a yeah. kid, you know, yeah. whatever, I went to one of those. Mm-hmm. And I went to one of those political camps mm-hmm. that wasn't as bad as like what Auschwitz would have been. Okay, yeah. Um, where they basically like the, a lot of the stuff that we know about medicine today and science today actually came from the tests that they were conducting in those camps. Oh. So like, for example, and this is what I learned by being in those camps. So for example, they'd put someone in an, like in ice cold. When you say when you were in one of those camps that make it sound like you were there, like when you went to like have a tour. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh my God, Billy, I need to give you love. No, I'm that way old? young. <laughs> no, I'm way, I mean, I'm a, unless I'm a, yeah. <laughs> really good. I look really good for 150. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Right. Um, uh, See, how creepy would that, I don't even care about this conspiracy theory. I just want to hear about like the camp. I know, but because, this is, like, yes. It would be like, was your skin crawling? Oh, from, 100%. Like, the, I thought, yes. I always wow. wanted to go to Auschwitz. Yeah. Yes. And then when I went to this one, which was uh-huh. apparently, again, a political camp. Okay. It was in Berlin. Okay. Yeah. They made us do the whole walk that people would have yeah. gone off the train oh and done the walk yeah. to the camp or whatever, where they were like, and then they'd take officials through and be like, look at how happy these people are. Everything's so great. You know what I mean? Because cause this was like the camp that they used for propaganda as well. Okay. So they all the most important kind of political prisoners went to yeah. this particular camp. Okay. But this is also where they did the most of the hideous medical testing. Oh so they would put someone in a tub of ice water and just wait for them to die. Oh, what? Literally, this is what they would do. They would just time and see how long it would take for a human body to do that. They would put put them in shoes that were too small and make them run around in the snow. They would just make yeah. them stand in snow. Like they would do all these <coughs> hideous, hideous tests yeah. in the human body to see yeah. how much how they could you can stand push it. Yeah, because yeah. they didn't see yeah. Jews as humans. It was yeah. awful what they did to them. Yeah. But again, a lot of what we know now about medicine and science actually came from those. So then wow. Operation Paperclip, bringing it back to what my original yeah. point was, yeah, yeah. I have no doubt that they got hired out to do, just continue to do these fucking freaky tests. Hired out by like the rest of the, the world. Government. Yes. Wow. Yes. Which is so and that's what they're saying here. So right? the world, United States yeah. created a secret agency where yeah, sixteen hundred right. German soldiers, scientists, yeah. and engineers yeah. went to work for them. I mean, it makes sense, but like Jesus, yep. God. Okay, moving on. The Illuminati. I don't know what you just said. Illuminati. Okay. You've never heard of the Illuminati, the secret society. What? Jay Z and Beyonce are in it. Which oh! means I'm kind of in it. Oh, right. You have told me about yes. this before because you love Beyonce. Okay, yes. fill me in. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, so a secret society that rules the world. Of course. The Illuminati. Did she sing a song about that? Probably, yeah. Um, and the USA um, are in cahoots. So apparently the truth is there is a link that exists between the Illuminati and the US government. But how um, do they rule the world? It, it, this is it. Thing. This is how. This is the stupidest thing. This is how. Uh, yes, tell me. I need more facts. Of course, that link is actually a hyperlink because if you... <laughs> If you type Illuminati backwards, oh, dot com, yeah, what does so it say? It's Tani Muli. Huh? It goes to the NSA website. 
<gasps> I fucking did it. I clicked on it and it took me to the website, to the NSA website. So Illuminati. That's kind of creepy. Spelt backwards, dot com, goes to the NSA. What does that mean? How did the NSA not block this now that it's exactly. on the internet? Like, why is that still happening? Um, But how do they rule the world okay they can write down that they rule the world but how how are they ruling the world they're Lindsay, brainwashing join the and government they'll tell you okay? okay we're not allowed to tell you these things until I mean, you're in the group you know when i hear nope, a we're not allowed to share. story i need to know the details i need to know the details our next conspiracy uh-huh. for decades tobacco companies buried evidence that smoking is deadly oh well that duh fact obviously That's, at the beginning yeah. of the 1950s research was showing an indisputable statistical link between smoking and lung cancer but it wasn't until the late 1990s mm, yeah that yeah. fucking Philip Morris, whoever you are, Philip, oh. um, admitted that smoking could cause yeah. cancer. Yeah. And the very last one, because we are running out of time and Lindsay hates it when we run out of time. I don't believe um, this. The conspiracy that the CIA was testing LSD and other hallucinogenic drugs on Americans in top secret experiment on behavior modification. Oh. MK Ultra. Anybody heard of MK Ultra? No. That's yeah. The program was known as MK Ultra. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And it was real. Right. Um, the CIA okay. started using volunteers um, to do this program, um, but program had soon began dosing people without their knowledge. MK oh. Ultra left many victims permanently mentally disabled. Oh, <laughs> as the yep. Is that uh, legal? <laughs> No, no, I I I don't think it is, no. uh, At the present time, another drug that alters food and perception, food and perception, and is causing great public concern because of its harmful effect is meth. Uh, So I bet you somebody in America is probably uh dosing people with meth just to see what happens. Uh, All these bad things just go back to America. Like, I'm not... Not to be rude, but, and I know we have a lot of people that listen to us in America. And Hi. I, Hi, Americans. <laughs> Hope you guys are okay. Stay out of Denver. Yay, Airport. July 4th. Woo. Woo. Um, but like, it, the facts don't lie. Like a lot of bad shit happens in America, out of America, because of Americans. And it's supposed to be like this big fucking amazing country. But like, there's so many bad things. But that's the point. Is that This is the thing conspiracy theory i don't know america's so big yeah. and so it was not so big but it's like it's, they're so powerful it, yeah. it's gone to their head and they do dumb mm-hmm. stuff do you know what i mean yeah, like they will this I, world power that had all these resources yeah. and all this good stuff and all this money and all this power mm-hmm. but they use it for the wrong yeah. stuff they're and not like, there to help people they're just there to like get more 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 yeah. more money more power yeah. more this more that you know and fuck yeah. the little people who are literally zombies on the streets because they're taking drugs that are so fucked up. Yeah. Or well, they're drugging their people to do like crazy stuff. It's just insane, isn't it? Well, like the experiment they did yeah. about the twins. They took twins oh. and separated them at birth yeah. and then monitored them both over <gasps> their lifetimes and didn't tell these people that they were twins until they all grew up and found out that there was this massive experiment that went on for for decades. <laughs> experiment as in like her, the twins' parents didn't even know. Like they, how does a mum not know that I she's I can't remember the twins, exact details. Well, because they say one baby died and then they take it away. Do you know what I'm saying? And then they keep monitoring them. So it's not like the parents but like, know. The, but the parent, like, I'm, I mean, maybe back then it's different. But like nowadays, if you birth a, a stillborn baby, you bury the baby. You have time with the baby. Like, I sorry, your know. baby's dead. Nope, you can't. Totally, I actually it. have you know no idea I mean? exactly how it worked. But like, yes, it logistically, like, yeah. how did they physically separate the baby? I don't know. And what they had a secret like person in the next room. Here's your baby. Wee. Well, yeah, kind of. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, kind of. So yeah, weird. I know. Yeah. Anyway, don't go to America. Love you guys. <coughs> you can come to Australia. We're, we only have like a handful of conspiracy theorists and we just ignore them largely. <laughs> we don't actually like give them jobs high up, <laughs> you know. Anyway, thanks. Oh my Bye. God, Is that it? it? Are we done? Wa- yeah, it's my brain. Like such a waste of time. Thank you for joining us for this latest episode of Wine Chats Podcast with Bulldog and Lindelin. You can find us on our socials on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And you can listen to us on any favorite podcasting app or watch on YouTube. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share, review, comment, send us some love. We absolutely love it. Chat soon. Come on, Lenny. Chat soon. Chat soon. Chat soon. Chat soon. Chat soon. Come on. Okay, we'll add in chat soon at the end. Both of us. Yeah, go ahead. Chat Chat soon. soon.